this nightmare last night. I had a dream that I had a pet. I think it was a turtle or something that crawls that's really slow as well. In the middle of the night, I wasn't able to put the turtle in the cage and when I woke up the next day, it was like gone. So I spent the whole day in my dream looking for that turtle and putting food around so it can like attract it or something. That was my dream, which was really, really weird because number one, I don't have a turtle. And number two, it was just weird. There are times wherein I get like really, really intense nightmares. I think there was a month a few months back where I had like nightmares every day and it would stress me out when I'd wake up in the morning because it would be too intense to a point that it kind of affected you know my day because of that dream and I would always like remember it there will be times wherein I wouldn't dream at all which was good because you know my mind's more blank when I wake up which would be the perfect case so yeah I just wanted to share with you guys <laughs> my weird dream it was so weird I wonder what that means I'm not even sure if it's a turtle but I just know that it's small and it crawled anyway I got ready I'm actually waiting for my sister because we're gonna head to the city later we're gonna buy a bunch of stuff and she said she wanted to go shopping so I'm gonna accompany her to go shopping actually I have a list that I want to buy before New Year like I want to go to Muji and buy a notebook and get some candles just a few like self-care products to get me ready for 2021 it's only 10 30 and she's gonna be back around 12 so I have a little bit of time and before we leave I want to show you guys a few things that I ordered from Style. <laughs> So these are all the clothes that I got. Let's start with this tank top because I actually wore this one already. It's in this royal blue shade with this pink lace details here. It's in this kind of like neoprene, no not neoprene, but like polyester fabric. So it hugs the body really well. I got this one in a size small. This is a cute um, plaid dress. I like the V-shape here because it's really flattering and it also has this tie like bow thing here in the middle. Very 90s inspired. It's in this navy blue color and it also has this um, green plaid details. As you guys know, I'm not that tall so this one just hits a couple of inches above the knees which is perfect. I love it. I also picked out the zebra print tank lace details again with the aquamarine shade. Is it aquamarine or am I just making that up? I'm not really sure. It's a little too revealing like if you're not a hubadera or if you're not used to wearing like um, kind of like skimpy clothes this may not be for you but I like it. If you guys didn't know, yes, style is kind of like shoppy in a way. It's where you can buy affordable clothes, shoes, bags, and they also have some K-beauty items. I got another tank top and this one's really cool. It has this Jaguar print here in the middle. It says, always a lady. This would look so good with sweatpants, um, mom jeans for that like model of duty look. This one... In the photo, it kind of reminded me of this like Y2K style, like this pop star kind of vibe. So yeah, that's why I got this. I thought this top was going to be a fail, but it's actually really, really adorable. Like the cut here, I think this is the only winter appropriate clothing that I got. I like the acid wash effect. I don't know, it's really different from what I have. I don't really have anything like this. Yeah, we're trying to experiment here. I got this white one-shouldered top. I feel like you can never have enough basics. I bought this one without like considering the reviews because when I got it, there weren't any reviews at all. I just had to like go for it because I wanted to check if it was like nice. But it's kind of see-through. So it's fitted here on top and it flares out at the bottom okay last two items i got this brown skirt which gives me that japanese schoolgirl vibe i love it so much it's pleated and the color i've been loving brown lately and the last one is this lingerie looking dress i was just intrigued because you know leopard and pink 
like I just had to get it so that's it for our mini haul if you want to get some of the items that I got I'm gonna put all the links in the description box and I think I also have a discount code with them so I'm gonna include everything My dad forgot to do something in his factory, so we're now in his factory first, and then after that, we're gonna drive to the city. My sister's here, she's getting ready because sobrang nagmadali kami. Nung paalis na dapat kami, kakauwi niya lang from her football practice. So now she's getting ready in the car, and I was braiding my mom's hair a while ago because we didn't have time. Actually, sila lang yung walang time to get ready because ako kanina pa ako nag nagayos kasi nagfilm pa ako so yeah now we're just waiting for my dad habo naghihintay kami I'm gonna answer a few questions muna nagtanong ako sa Instagram kung meron ba kayong gusto na pag-usapan ko dito sa vlog na to so a lot of you guys asked and I wanna answer this one first because I think it's really interesting what is it like to live in two different countries Philippines and Japan to be honest guys when I was younger when I was a teenager I didn't really enjoy being here because of course as a teenager I wanted to spend a lot of time with my friends and during my break my summer break Christmas um, vacation I would always go here so I wouldn't have enough time to spend with my friends so yeah that was a struggle before now that I'm getting older I'm starting to realize how nice it is to have another place to live in because when I'm stressed in the Philippines I can just go here to Japan and unwind and relax it's also nice experiencing two different cultures because Japan is way different than in the Philippines and it can be hard going back and forth but I'm trying to look at the good side that I get to be with my family and that I get to be in this beautiful place so yeah it has its pros and cons but I'm really grateful that I get to live in Japan as well Until we do it over again, money doesn't give us fun. 